neodymium magnets versus an off-the-shelf cheap demagnetizer. Which one should you keep in your toolbox to magnetize your tools? Stay tuned to find out. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Mike with Things You Might Like. And let me tell you how I came across today's product. I was walking through Walmart, checking out the tool section, and I saw this thing, really bright yellowish green. That's what first caught my eye, read what it was, and then saw the price. It was a buck 27. So I thought, okay, I've got to check this thing out. So what it is, it's a magnetizer and demagnetizer that you would use for your tools, probably predominantly screwdrivers and the like. And this one is by HyperTuff. And what I've always done is when I've worked on projects and I've come across strong magnets inside of them, think of the magnets found in hard drives, I pull them out and these are what I use to magnetize my tools. And so I thought, would it be worth it for $1.27 to have a magnetizer and demagnetizer and could it replace these guys right here? These are small, super convenient, and extremely strong. So let's take a look. Alrighty, so let me show you guys what I've got going on here. I grabbed two of the same exact kind of screwdrivers. I'm hoping that the materials being the same will override the fact that the sizes are different. I don't know if that will play a factor in this. I wanted to eliminate as many variables as possible. And then I have just a simple light screw right here. Now, these have the slightest bit of magnetism. It's really not strong at all though. That one's actually not too bad. You can see it's just a little bit. So I'm going to compare the two. I'm going to use the neodymium on one and the magnetizer on the other and see if either one can do a better job of picking up the screw. So the way that I usually like to do this is I just take the neodymium magnets and I just kind of rub it all over the, the tip of the tool. And I don't know if there's a special method for doing it, but that's the way I do it and it usually works. Now for the magnetizer demagnetizer, there were no instructions for it. And so I am just going to kind of fly by the seat of my pants and see if I can get this to work all right. Now, what I'll do to compare the two is I will magnetize the top screwdriver, the bigger one with the neodymium magnets and the smaller one with the magnetizer. So what I'm gonna do is get out a ruler and see which one picks up the screw sooner and see if the screw can you know, travel a bigger gap. First, we're gonna start with this big guy. Man, that thing is, that is strong. Oh my gosh. So I kinda just shake it like that. All right, I'm gonna set that one off to the side. And next, my little guy. And I guess I just, go like this whole thing maybe? Sure, why not? I, mean, I, can, I can feel the resistance, so I know it's definitely doing something. All right, and let's see which one is stronger. So this is the rig that I've got set up to tell us how soon the screwdriver can grab the screw. Now this is the larger neodymium screwdriver first. We'll see where it grabs. All right, first one was six millimeters. Let's see if that's consistent. Oh, it's doing something, you see that? All right, so six, maybe a, maybe seven millimeters. Okay, let's check out the magnetizer slash demagnetizer. Ooh. Eesh. Um, eesh. Let me, uh, maybe I did it wrong. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Well, it did work. Just not all that well. All right, guys, and there you have it. Pretty straightforward. The HyperTuff magnetizer and demagnetizer not worth it even at a buck 27 i just i don't have any use for it if i need to demagnetize something well i've never needed to demagnetize anything usually the things that were magnetized kind of lose that over time and i have to then remagnetize them and so 
I just don't have any use for this. So please let me know in the comments if I did something wrong, which is 100% possible. Maybe there's another way to use this to make it more effective. Please tell me because, I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it now, so if I can get more use out of it, that would be great. And that's gonna be it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, please, please drop me a like, and please be sure to subscribe if you like these kinds of videos where I check out products that are more budget-friendly to check whether or not they have any value to them. This is Mike with Things You Might Like, and I'll see you with my next cool thing.